Henry the Green Engine, Cowell. I suffer dreadfully and no one cares. Rubbish, Henry, snorted James. You don't work hard enough. Henry was bigger than James, but smaller than Gordon. Sometimes he could pull trains, but sometimes he had no strength at all. Sir Topham Hatt spoke to him too. You are too expensive, Henry. You have had lots of new parts and new paint too, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, we must get another engine instead of you. This made Henry, his driver, and his fireman very sad. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting when Henry came to the platform. He had taken off his hat and coat and put on overalls. He climbed to the footplate and Henry started. Henry is a bad steamer, said the fireman. I build up his fire, but it doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried very hard, but it was no good. He had not enough steam, and they stopped outside Edward's station. Oh dear, thought Henry sadly. I shall have to go away. Edward took charge of the train. Henry stopped behind. What do you think is wrong, fireman? asked Sir Topham Hatt. The fireman mopped his face. Excuse me, sir, he answered, but the coal is wrong. We've had a poor lot lately, and today it's worse. The other engines can manage. They have big fireboxes. Henry's is small and can't make the heat. With Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine. It's expensive, said Sir Topham Hatt thoughtfully, but Henry must have a fair chance. James shall go and fetch some. When the Welsh coal came, Henry's driver and fireman were delighted. Now we'll show them, Henry, old fellow. They carefully oiled his joints and polished his brass till it shone like gold. His fire had already been lit, so the fireman made it carefully. He put large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside. Then he covered the glowing middle part with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire just when we want it. He was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely, and he had to let off steam to show how happy he was. He made such a noise that Sir Topham Hatt came out to see him. How are you, Henry? Peep, 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 whistled Henry. I feel fine. Have you a good fire driver? Never better, sir, and plenty of steam. No record breaking, warned Sir Topham Hatt, smiling. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. I'll have to hold him back. Henry had a lovely day. He had never felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the junction. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry when Thomas puffed in. I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. Whoosh, said Thomas to Annie and Clarabelle as Henry disappeared. Have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had.